hope everything goes good. Okay? So the meeting is called to order, and we have to the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Laura, would you please do a roll call for us? Lord St. Clair. Dennis Orient. Here. Bob Kelly. Here. Eric Schmidt. Here. Bill Jesse Evans. <sighs> Everybody that's going to testify on the signing sheet. Okay. If anyone has been able to testify, just you come up and sign the sheet. You just walked in. Do you have anything to say, Bruce? No, no sign in. No. Everyone who can be a witness, please stand up, stand and raise your right hand. They can't be enough to me. I swear that the testimony I'm about to offer, I swear the discussion I'm about to offer, will be true and correct to the best of my knowledge, information, and belief. Okay, Lord, we have a I have one question that we have enough to yeah. yes. yes. this. Yes. Okay, then I'm just Sure. Yeah. Right now, to make a part of the record that the zoning hearing, the zoning hearing packet consists of a letter dated July 14, 2017, from Lori Collins, the zoning officer. The application for the hearing filed on behalf of uh, Gopal Towers Real Estate LLC. The Allegheny County website information on the property. The zoning hearing board notice to all the surrounding property owners and a copy of the map showing that the uh, individuals who received the notice, along with a copy of the legal advertisement, uh, indicating this matter was scheduled for the hearing today at 7 o'clock. Okay, Lord, can we have a brief outline of yes. case and the variance? Yes. Keith and Draco Integrity Design submitted an application on behalf of Gopal Towers on June 28, 2017. Um, Gopal Towers is proposing the construction of a five-story, 22,000 square foot office building for the vacant property located at 625 Washington Avenue. A land development application will be presented to the Planning Commission. In order to move forward with the process, the following variance is requested. Article 11, Section 1103, Off-Street Loading, a use variance to remove the loading berth as required for a new use as per the off-street parking and loading requirements. Thank you. Okay, then... Uh, We have uh, Chris Dooch. Yes. Uh, representing Global. Yes, sir. Okay, would you like to speak now? Um, just a great project. I think it's good for the borough. I don't know what else to say. We're, we're excited to build it. Well, we need, you know, your application is part of the record, but we just need to get your information on the record as far as describing what you plan on doing in the life. Okay. Do you want to do that? I don't have the architect do that. That's okay. what you need. Don't work. Okay. I'm Heather Knuth from Integrity Design. You can step up here. Come on up. Here. Okay. Um, and I am with Integrity Design, and we are the architects. Keith Andrego is my partner, and I'm representing Keith today because he's on vacation. So we're just here to ask for that variance so that we can um, begin the process of site evaluation and putting together a package to present back to Zimmerman with the whole site plan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Did anybody send you anything there? I got a phone call. Um, and I asked them to submit something in writing, and I did not receive anything. Okay, so. All right, uh, Mr. De Blasio. Thank you. Uh, Pasquale, P-A-S-Q-U-A-L-E-B, 
last name Glazio, D-E-L-A-S-I-O. I'm here as a resident and a business owner, and appreciate the fact that the zoning board members are here, including its newest member. So thank you for your service. Um, the uh, proposed building uh, could be a good, a good, a good improvement to our community. But most of all, I look at the question of the loading dock. Uh, you have a very a building that's on a fairly small footprint, and it would appear to me to be a hardship to try and squeeze a loading dock into that structure. As to other items of the building, the Planning Commission will be next, correct? Correct. So, thank you all very much. Appreciate it. So, um, what are you looking for? I don't know if the owners here or not, but what are you looking for for tenants in the building? What is the long term projection for the use of the building itself? Um, the physician who will own the building will have his office in the building, um, a support service that will help to um, they, a complementary service to the physician's practice is the best way to word that. And then potentially on the other two floors additional physician spaces. So essentially there will be no retail. Correct. It will be physicians slash attorneys. Uh, no, I, I will say it'll be physicians. Okay, well, yeah. so, and yes, I, I, what I'm trying to establish is there'll be no retail that has stuff to come in and out. Correct. Okay, no, that, no, oh, no restaurants in the spaces. bottom floor. I'm sorry. No restaurants, no retail in the bottom floor. Correct. Okay. Well, you, you want to eliminate the loading dock, and I'm trying to make sure that you know it's going to be. Purely offices, no right. retail, right. no no restaurants that require stuff to come in and out. Correct. It okay. would be the typical office deliveries of FedEx, UPS, well, that, I, things I, the, like that. That stuff I understand. I'm talking. It, it, there is not going to be any retail slash restaurants that going to require. Stuff to come in and out every day. Correct. Okay. Okay. I have a question. For you. Sure. Um, so you're part of the the design of yes. the building. Yes. Was there any way you could design the building to accommodate the parking, the loading ramp? The, the loading ramp? No. You would, usually on a loading usually on a loading dock you have to create a from the street create a downward motion so that the trucks could actually back in like a true loading dock and there's just not the space there to do that nor is there um, the I guess based on its tenants and what the occupants would be there wouldn't be a need for that type of offloading because it's not it's not a um, it's not a large footprint, and there's not the types of tenants projected that would need that. And we also created also the space on the traffic on Washington Avenue, the entrance really, the pedestrian entrance is on the corner of Peach and Alley to keep the um, you know pedestrians back in that way. And I think aesthetically also it would be difficult to have your back of house stuff right where you're having your main entrance. Mm -hmm. I have one more question. Uh, originally, when they were here, we were talking about an underground parking garage. Is that still in the plan? No, sir. So the, all the parking will have to be public parking? Yes. Well, those are things that will be addressed at the planning commission. I understand, but that they, this, they've been here before, and one of the things that was brought up was 
on other ground property. Right. All we're to consider is what's on this application. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Just, you know, anything else? No, thank you. Okay, thanks. Can we ask questions or do you have to sign yeah. in and ask a question? Yeah, if anyone's going to want to speak, we do want to have you sign in, please. If you want to, if if you want to, if you if you want to, see, you can come up now and sign in. You want to like, basically, okay. where's the loading dock would be at? That's what he's trying to come up with. There, it's, there is not a loading dock. No, that's what the variance is. That's what we're here today. Okay, the variance on that. You should have one. No. Okay, we get this out. But we don't want. We want to be addressed to us, and we can ask the um, question. So we. Lori, can you restate what the. Code, how the code reads because I don't know the exact verbiage. The Article 11, Section 1103, Off Street Loading, they're requesting a use variance to remove the loading berth as required for a new use as per the Off Street Parking and Loading Requirements. Does it, to um, Bruce, and if you just mention, your, put your name once if you can take that. Okay, Bruce Caladucci. Thank you. You want me to spell for you? Or you got <laughs> Anybody else have that, any input? Okay, we're going to take a break in the recess. Free recess? Okay, we'll move that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, we're back in session, folks. Sorry, there's no dogs back there. <laughs> we're all on time. <laughs> or you hit them, huh? No, we're all on time. <laughs> Is there anybody in the audience that wants to say anything further? Okay, I need a motion and a second from the board to. I make a motion that we approve the variance for the loading dock with the understanding that there will be no retail in there, no restaurants. And we can approve it, I don't have a Can I get a second? I'll second. I vote for also. Those in favor? Aye. 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 We will have a. Okay. We'll be issuing a written decision uh, within 30 days. So, uh, any action taken within that 30 day period is that the, uh, the applicants um, uh, the, the, the information here. So, you may want to wait till the decision right. comes out. Okay. Okay. Need a motion to adjourn? Second. Meeting adjourned. That's good. I love it. <laughs> <laughs>